Looks as if you forgot to turn the VCR off. Well, think of this as just a brief appendix to the tape. That's antenna A1, Alpha 1. A little uh, KT-34A tri-bander, only about uh, 55 feet off the ground. This is uh, the antenna I called Baker 1B1, the two-element Cushcraft 40-meter beam stacked, stacked on top of the long boom 20-meter Yagi. Uh, the Yagi boom is 60 feet long, <coughs> the used part of it. And while it might have sounded a lot more impressive to have six or seven elements, uh, YO, little YO calculation on the computer indicated that uh, adding one or two more to the five that I do have up there would give me maybe three tenths of a dB, four tenths of a dB maximum more gain, but the trade-off would be the additional wind and ice and snow area of two more elements. and. Uh, in a location two miles above sea level where we have an average winter snowfall of 20 to 30 feet and occasional wind and ice that didn't seem to be a worthwhile trade-off. Uh, thinking about antennas reminds me that I probably didn't emphasize enough earlier in the tape the advantage of the Alpha 87A's field fine-tuning capability in matching antennas. Whereas the uh, 87A arrives from the factory, it's true that you absolutely do not have to make any adjustments or do any programming in order to put it on the air. And in fact, if your antennas have SWRs not much greater than 1.5 to 1 or thereabouts, you can hook it up, fire it up, and immediately have a kilowatt and a half of good, clean, cool output on all bands without any adjustments at all. On the other hand, if you're like me, you feel better if you know that everything in the system is tweaked right on the nose. And the Alpha 87's programmability lets you do that. All you have to do is to fire up the amplifier at the center frequency of each of the band segments you plan to use. On each of those frequencies, use the manual tune and load buttons uh, along with the tune indicator to uh, set the loading just the way you want it on that band and especially, more importantly, to ensure that the, that the amplifier is perfectly resonated uh, since uh, reactance reflected back from the antenna, if the match is not perfect, uh, tends to detune or mismatch the amplifier. So you use those buttons in the tune meter to make sure that it's adjusted just perfectly at the center of each uh, ba uh, band segment and then in each case, when you're satisfied, enter that data into the field memory by pressing first the enter button, and then while the LED on the enter button is flashing, which is about three or four seconds, press the appropriate segment button. And that memory data will be retained permanently unless or until you reprogram it sometime in the future. When you've completed this simple process on all of the uh, uh, band segments that you intend to use, you, the amplifier will thereafter, anytime it is fired up on any of those band segments, it will automatically pull from field memory the data that you entered in preference to the original factory tuning and loading data. On the other hand, you can, of course, always re recover the factory data if you want it for some reason, simply by pushing the default button. So what you have at that point is not only instantaneous band switching, automatic band switching that is completed within less than a second from any band to any other band, even 10 to 160 meters or vice versa, but you also have the amplifier perfectly matched all the way across each band, operating at maximum efficiency, maximum linearity, and maximum power output capability. With the sunspots and solar flux continuing their nosedive, and consequently the considerable increase in QRM and competition on the lower HF bands, the advantage of having a, a perfectly optimized, fast band switching, highly reliable amplifier could be a tremendous competitive advantage. As I said before, I absolutely guarantee 
There is no other amplifier even close to the Alpha 87A in capability, and I guarantee that if you get a new Alpha 87A and you try it out, you will come quickly to conclude that it's the greatest piece of ham radio gear you've ever owned. And as founder and chairman of ETO, I absolutely guarantee you that if within 30 days after getting that amplifier, you decide it isn't the greatest thing ever, for any reason you don't want to keep it, you give us a call, arrange to return it, and we'll be happy to refund your complete purchase price. If you give Ray Heaton, our sales and service manager, a call right away, you can have a, a new Alpha in your station probably within just a matter of days. Try it out, see for yourself if what I said isn't true. Meanwhile, good operating, good DXing, lots of luck. 73 from ETO and W4ETO.